Hello family, today I have come on to make some garlic parmesan lettuce wraps. Now to make these lettuce wraps family, we're going to first take our pre-prepared chicken tenders and we're going to marinate them in the oven with some minced garlic and butter. Once done, we're going to sprinkle some parmesan and a Romano uh, cheese on them. We're going to top it with ranch, avocado, um, tomato, some cheese, and we're going to wrap them in our romaine lettuce. Let's get started. First, we're going to take our minced garlic. There's truly no measurement that I really take. Um, something like that is fine. Our point is to simply, you know, coat it very well. Not so much as really drown it, but you really want a really good drizzle of your minced garlic and your butter mixture. I'm going to keep this and see if I can grow something with it. Yes, let's put this to the side. Let me get a bag for this. Because we're going to do something with this guy. We're going to attempt to regrow him. While wow, I dropped him in the sink. Jeez, I dropped him in the sink. I mean, that's like a little bleachy water, but I did rinse it really good, so hopefully it'll be okay. But we're going to try and grow with that. Wow. I'm going to take it out of this and allow it to dry out so that it won't uh, mildew in this. But for right now, though, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to just restore it like this. Store it like that. Okay. So, at any rate, I bought this a couple of days ago, so it is truly, truly ripe. Wow. Okay. I'm going to cut it on here. So then, there for the presentation on the plate will still be pretty. I love avocado, so I will not be wasting avocado. 
My surface area is clean, so needn't worry about that. Let's see if I can kind of get this guy out a little bit better than the last one. Just kind of take your thumb and just kind of push him out under there. Okay, so. It's really soft, so it's definitely time to use it. So we're going to make use of it today. Now this can go in the compost. We're just going to cover this until we need it. Now we can put in a refrigerator. A nice little coating of it. This is good. Now be mindful that the lid is hot. Or am I just reminding myself? Either way. Now let's get our lettuce clean and get it ready to be plated up. I really, really like uh, romaine lettuce, and one thing about it, I also use it um, when I'm juicing, and it has a very, very high uh, content of nutrients, more so than like iceberg lettuce, um, so do your research on it, you know, it's good to have some really, really uh, good greens um, in your smoothies and whatnot, but 
yeah, do your research on it. But I tell you what, this is some really, really good stuff. Okay. Um, this is the way that it looks. Some really, really good, some really good looking lettuce. Just sexy looking, right? I know I'm not the only one, but oh my God, it's just so sexy to me. Now, you want to layer this the way you want to layer it. Um, this is just the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it more of a burrito type style. Um, let me get some tongues right quick because this meat is going to be hot coming out of this thing here. I also got these too. So, got some utensils to work with because this meat is going to be really hot. When we pull it out of our little um, casserole dish. Okay, let me get some. Ooh. Make it real proper. Let's see. Put one more. How about one more? Make it real proper. Okay. Okay. So now... Let's go with our ranch first. So we're just going to pretty much just layer over this thing. Let's put one more a little bit further. Let's put him like that. Now, whichever cheese you choose, this is just a regular Mexican cheese that's already grated. Now, let's see if we're going to be able to roll this guy up because he's awfully fat. Let's see, I'm envisioning if I do it this way.
Hold on. We're getting ready to make something work here with the extra Now, where is me a toothpick? Let me see if I can. Ooh. I'm going to taste that. As much as I like candy. Okay. So, maybe if I. Because that's proper right there. Okay. It's going to have to stay like that. Because otherwise, if I move it too much, I'm going to mess up something. So. Let's put that right there for the moment. <laughs> let's see what we can find. Hold on, let's see if we have some. Some of these guys. So what we're going to do... And then one more this way. So, there he is. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Okay, so now let's clean it up a bit. Wow, look at that, guys. Whoa, it looks so good. Oh, my God. From my home to yours, Bon Appetit family. I thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye for now. Family, I just had to come on and just say this was so good. When I tell you, let me tell you, let me let me just say this right quick. I, I know I'm interrupting the cooking tutorial, but I just had to say that these chicken strips were on markdown for $2.29 for two of the con um, containers. And so I was contemplating on what I was going to make with those chicken strips that would be able to, you know, feed me plus three. Well, the first plate that I made, um, I made that for my son for work. And um, this is me and my plus two. And when I tell you that this was, oh my God, this this was simply beautiful. Now, I do wish I had some, you know, like, um, you know that, um, it's like a string that uh, you use to, to tie up like your turkey legs and chicken legs and stuff like that. Um, I wish I had some ties. That would have been better or better presentation on the uh, wrap that I had presented. However, I didn't have that. So, um, I went with the two picks, which looked a little Mickey Mouse, but... You know, still no less, my son was uh, so glad to have it. So what can I say? And for me to wrap it up, I um, simply took the toothpicks out. And once I wrapped it up like this, then he can unwrap it and eat it how he likes. Um, but uh, I just had to come on again and say that this was a superb meal idea and very economical as well and so easy to put together and... Voila, from my home to yours, again I say unto you, bon appetit family. You guys have a good night. See you soon. Bye-bye for now.